Praise our living Jesus. Praise our Redeemer. We shout Hosanna to our immortal Redeemer. Father, we count our testimony and our blessing. And we see what you alone have done. We give you thanks. We bless you. We appreciate you. You will forever be our God till eternity. In Jesus' name. Amen. And Amen. Our Bible reading today is taken from the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 14. Numbers chapter 14. Verses 1 to 9. Numbers chapter 14. Verses 1 to 9. And all the congregation lifted up their voice and cried. And the people wept that night. And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron. And the whole congregation said unto them, Would God that we have died in the land of Egypt, or would God we have died in this wilderness? And wherefore had the Lord brought us out to this land to fall by this sword, that our wives and our children should be a pair, where it not better for us, to return to Egypt. And they said one to another, Let us make a captain, and let us return to Egypt. And then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the children of Israel. And Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jenin, which were of them that searched the land, rent their cloth. And they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we pass through to search it is exceedingly good land. And if the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it us a land which flow with milk and honey. Only rebel not ye against the Lord, neither fear ye the people of the land. For they are bred for us, their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Fear them not. May the Lord of heaven break performance and open our eyes of revelation into this world. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My dear beloved viewers, don't give up hope, the Lord whispered to me. Do not give up hope, I heard the Lord saying, that no matter how hard this first quarter has been so far, do not let your faith fail. I stand to pray for you. You will not give up in the mighty name of Jesus. Dig one more time, water will spring forth. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, amen. My beloved, do you know that it is not wise to eat rose just because you got scratched by one of the tongue? You don't need to eat rose. Roses are beautiful. They are lovely. But simply because you have been scratched with one of the tongue, you doesn't need to hate it. It is indeed also unwise to give up all your dream just because one of them did not come true. I stand to pray for you. You will not give up in the mighty name of Jesus. Never give up of anything, the Lord said. Always determined to fight to the end. Why? Even your enemy get tired. The more you are striving and contending and encouraging yourself, your enemy gets tired. The more you did not give up hope, your enemy will withdraw. I stand to pray for you. Every portion of your peace, they will return. They will turn back in the mighty name of Jesus. 
amen and amen. And also, my beloved, challenges and trouble are often tools by which God fashioned us for a better thing. Challenges often are tools by which God removed us. According to the book of Isaiah 26, verse 16. Let's have a look. Isaiah, hallelujah. The Lord will remove you in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 26, verse 16. Lord, in trouble they have visited thee. They pour out prayers when thy chastening was upon them. Hallelujah. It is when we have challenges in most cases or, or trouble, we cry more unto the Lord. We stretch our spiritual muscles. Challenges are often tools by which God builds us up. The Lord will build you up in the mighty name of Jesus. Difficulties are meant to awake us, not to discourage us. Whatever confronts you in life, is not to discourage you. It's to wake you up. Somebody will wake up in the name of Jesus. It has been proved, beloved, that human spirit are created to grow stronger by conflict. It is only when we have conflict, conflict of this affliction, challenges, predicament, that our spirit grows stronger more. I stand to confirm to you that whatever you are passing through, it will take you to your destiny in the name of Jesus. It will lead you. You will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not fall in the name of Jesus. The Lord whispered to me, don't give up. It is foolishness to condemn all your friends because one betrayed you. It is foolishness just because one betrayed you. Our Lord Jesus Christ has 12 companions. One betrayed him. Another denied him. He embraced more. Hallelujah. He embraced more. It is then he embraced more. It is foolishness. Just simply because one has betrayed you. Because God is going to send somebody to you. I stand to pray for you. You will not give up. Whatever it is that is discouraging you, the Lord will strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a great burden in my heart, my beloved. The Lord asked me to tell you, don't give up your effort because one of them has failed. You will not give up. You will not give up your home. You will not give up on your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, especially that particular child. You don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up on your marriage. Don't give up on your career. Just a little press. You will reach the peak of rest in the mighty name of Jesus. You will reach the peak of absolute complete rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you know that it is insane not to believe in love? Just because someone was unfaithful to you? Love is strong. Love is the key. Just because one person, someone somewhere has been unfaithful to you, you don't want to believe in love. You don't want to give your 100% love into the relationship. Don't give up. Don't give up. God will sign a better across in the mighty name of Jesus. It will bring you a new good life. A new life will come your way. In the mighty name of I speak it into you. Receive a new life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the Bible text today, they prefer to return back to Egypt because of a little affliction. You will not return to slavery. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will get there. In the mighty name of Jesus. A man was said, Challenges are what makes life interesting. Hallelujah. Say challenges is, is the thing that makes life interesting and overcoming them are what make them meaningful. When you overcome challenges, the life becomes meaningful. 
I stand to pray for you. God will bring meaning into your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. All those things that seem they don't have form. They don't have shape. The Lord will bring meaning unto them. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Amen. And amen. Psalm 20. Hallelujah. Psalm 20. The Lord will strengthen you. He will empower you. Psalm 20 verses 1 and 2. Hallelujah. Psalm 20. Verses 1 and 2. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. That is the word of God. God can only hear you when you come through his son. Whatever you are going through, when you call upon the Lord, he can hear you. Only when you come through his only begotten son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to confess our Lord Jesus Christ in the very short word confession and say, Lord Jesus, I heard about you. That you are access to the Father. I confess and believe in you. I acknowledge that you are the only way to God. Accept me. Helpless and naked I call in faith. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. I want to congratulate you this hour. The Lord will hear thee today in the mighty name of Jesus. He will put an end to that trouble. He will defend you. Wherever your name, your picture, your document are be presented that you are not there. The Lord will defend your interest in the mighty name of Jesus. He will send you help and he will strengthen you for victory. In every of your life battle. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Father. In Jesus name. Amen. And amen. Don't give up. Contact us. You can see a contact on the screen. For testimony. For prayer requests. Don't hesitate. Join us next week. Thursday by his grace. For under Brown Asian of a clinic. Till then. Stay connected. And be encouraged in the Lord. In Jesus' name, Shalom.